On April 30, 1993, CERN did something radical. It released the World Wide Web into the public domain. That single decision, freeing the software for servers, a basic browser, and core code libraries, let anyone with a computer build on Tim Berners-Lee's 1989 idea of documents stitched together by hyperlinks. The internet already existed thanks to TCPIP from Robert Kahn and Vint Cerf, but it lacked a simple, universal way to organize and navigate information. Berners-Lee's proposal imagined clicking references to jump directly to their sources. The web turned that into everyday reality. Only months earlier, the first widely used graphical browser, Mosaic, debuted from NCSA. It came with commercial licenses, 100,000 US dollars plus per copy fees, signaling one possible future for the web, proprietary, gated, and company controlled. CERN chose the other path, maximal dissemination through openness. The contrast between Mosaic's licensing and the web's public domain release foreshadowed a recurring tension online. Open commons versus closed platforms, user empowerment versus corporate walled gardens. By declining to claim ownership, CERN catalyzed an ecosystem where standards could spread, pages could proliferate, and creativity could compound. Berners-Lee's user-opened web may feel idealistic today, but its impact is undeniable. A global medium born not from paywalls and patents, but from a gift to everyone, 